Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are delving into a lesser known but significant mental health condition, attenuated psychosis syndrome, APS. APS is a unique diagnostic category that represents a transitional state between the presence of psychotic-like symptoms and the development of a full-blown psychotic disorder. In this video, we will explore what attenuated psychosis syndrome is, the DSM-5 criteria for diagnosis, its impact on individuals and society, and some psychological theories associated with this condition. So, let's get started. What is attenuated psychosis syndrome? Attenuated psychosis syndrome, also known as attenuated psychotic symptoms, APS, is a clinical diagnosis in the field of psychiatry. It represents a condition where individuals experience subthreshold psychotic symptoms, which means the symptoms are present, but not as severe as those seen in full-blown psychotic disorders like schizophrenia. DSM-5 Criteria for Attenuated Psychosis Syndrome The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, DSM-5, does not classify APS as a formal diagnosis. However, it includes attenuated psychotic symptoms as a part of the conditions for further study category. The DSM-5 criteria for identifying attenuated psychotic symptoms are as follows. Presence of one or more attenuated, weakened psychotic symptoms. These symptoms may include unusual thoughts, suspiciousness, perceptual disturbances, or beliefs that others find peculiar. Symptoms are causing significant distress or impairment in functioning. The individual may experience distress or difficulty in their daily life due to these symptoms. Symptoms are not better explained by another mental disorder or a medical condition. The clinician must rule out other potential causes for the symptoms before considering APS. It's important to recognize APS because it may indicate a higher risk of developing a full-blown psychotic disorder in the future. Impact of Attenuated Psychosis Syndrome APS can have a significant impact on individuals who experience these attenuated symptoms. The distress caused by the symptoms can lead to difficulties in personal relationships, academic or occupational functioning, and overall quality of life. Additionally, the uncertainty surrounding the future development of a psychotic disorder can create anxiety and apprehension. From a societal perspective, recognizing APS and providing appropriate support and intervention can be crucial in preventing or delaying the onset of a full psychotic disorder. Early identification and intervention may improve long-term outcomes and reduce the impact on mental health services. Psychological theories The psychological theories surrounding attenuated psychosis syndrome are still being explored, and the exact underlying causes remain uncertain. However, several theories have been proposed. Vulnerability Stress Model This model suggests that individuals with a genetic predisposition to develop psychosis may be more susceptible to stressors that trigger or exacerbate attenuated psychotic symptoms. Cognitive Behavioral Factors some psychological theories propose that cognitive biases or distortions in thinking may contribute to the development and maintenance of APS. These cognitive factors could influence the interpretation of experiences leading to the presence of psychotic-like symptoms. Trauma and Early Life Experiences Traumatic experiences or adverse events during early development have been associated with an increased risk of developing psychotic symptoms. Childhood trauma or stress may play a role in the emergence of APS. Neurobiological factors. Research suggests that there may be neurobiological abnormalities associated with APS. Changes in brain structure and neurotransmitter systems have been implicated in the development of psychotic symptoms. 
In summary, attenuated psychosis syndrome is a clinical condition characterized by the presence of sub-threshold psychotic symptoms. While it is not yet recognized as a formal diagnosis in the DSM-5, it represents an important area of study in psychiatry. Identifying APS can help clinicians intervene early and provide appropriate support to individuals at risk of developing a full-blown psychotic disorder. It is essential to consider the impact of APS on individuals' well-being and to implement strategies for early intervention and support. Psychological theories continue to contribute to our understanding of APS, but further research is needed to unravel the complexities of this condition fully. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on mental health, psychology, and personal growth. Thank you for watching and take care.